in this video, we'll look at how to recreate a missing virtual machines disk descriptor file. This video is based on VMware article 1002511. VMware recommends to attempt to restore the missing descriptor file from backups if possible. If this is not possible, we shall proceed with recreating the virtual machine disk descriptor file. To create the virtual machine descriptor file, log in to the ESXi host command line. In this case, we are using PuTTY SSH session. Navigate to the directory that contains the virtual machine with the missing descriptor file. When we list out the files in the virtual machine's home directory, we can see that the descriptor file is missing for the associated flat file. So we will continue to recreate the missing descriptor file. In the next step, we will identify the virtual machine's SCSI controller type. We can get this information from the virtual machine's configuration file by using the following command. In this case, the controller type is LSI logic. Next piece of information we need is the exact size of the flat file. We can get this information by using the following command. Next, by using the vmkfs tools command, we will create a temporary descriptor file and an associated temporary vmdk flat file by making use of the information gathered above. This part specifies the size of the original flat file followed by the SCSI controller type, which is LSI logic. And this part specifies thin provisioned disks to save space on the data store. By running the list command, we can see the newly created temporary flat file and the temporary VMDK file. Next, we will rename the temporary VMDK file to match the orphaned flat file by using the following command. Next, we will edit the descriptor file to now point to the correct flat VMDK file. We can do this by using the vi command. Under the extent description section, we will replace the temporary flat VMDK with the original virtual machine's name and save the changes. We shall delete the temporary flat file as it is not needed by running the following command. If the original virtual machine's disk was not then provisioned, then we need to remove the following line from the newly created descriptor file. We can do this by using the vi command. Locate the line and delete. Save the changes to the file. To check the disk chain for consistency, run this command against the disk descriptor file. For a complete chain, you see the output is similar to this. The virtual machine is now ready to power on. Verify your changes before starting the virtual machine. This concludes our look at how to recreate a missing virtual machine disk descriptor file. For additional video tutorials, subscribe to our KBTV YouTube channel. Thank you for choosing VMware.